The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the uh, Bookmap Professional Trader webinar series. Uh, today we have Jay Trader. Jay Trader uh, began trading at the young age of 18 years old, still in high school. Uh, dedicated to it, studying late at night. I was trading European equities and uh, uh, warrants uh, covered uh, or uh, similar to, uh, to options there, uh, trading quite a bit of volume and over the years uh, really has picked up the volume. Um, and uh, uh, looking at level two uh, time and sales, generating 50 or 30 to 50 trades per day. Uh, and, um, uh, you know, he's, he's located in, uh, uh, well, he, I'm sorry, um, <laughs> let me back up there for a moment. Um, uh, in Italy or in San Marino, uh, and uh, he um, focuses on scalping and level two. Uh, and uh, I love this comment, loves or <laughs> mentions that he wishes he had Bookmap uh, back in those days when he was trading. Uh, today, uh, J Trader is focusing on uh, mainly futures, US equities, and options uh, in his main trading room at the uh, a small cap room. Uh, so let me go through the risk disclaimer and his contact information here, uh, and then we'll uh, we'll just uh, give it over to uh, to J Trader and uh, uh, let him uh, go go forward here. Okay, so uh, you can reach us at at Bookmap.com. Our Twitter, our our, our um, support email is there. Our risk disclaimer: trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. Uh, one more page here. Here is J Trader's contact information. Uh, it's all here. Uh, there's uh, his website, Twitter, YouTube page, uh, email, and then this special offer link for Bookmap uh, that uh, uh, you can get special deals directly from J Trader. Uh, don't worry, I'll put all of this into the chat for GoToWebinar so that you guys have the links here uh, and uh, at your disposal. Okay, I'll put it uh, throughout the uh, the webinar a few times here. Okay, other than that, uh, let's just kick it off here and uh, give the presentation to J Trader. Good morning, everybody. Um, over here, J Trader. Um, Bruce, you can see the monitor, right? With, yeah, uh, I see the. Yeah. I, I see book map in the lower left hand corner. Okay, perfect. So. Um, Glad to be here today, traders. Uh, I will be explaining um, how Bookmap is useful in my day trading uh, small caps. Uh, in the room, I'm trading also uh, futures, uh, stocks and options, or so large caps. But uh, today we'll cover uh, small caps uh, strategies. Um, I um, made some uh, screenshots of what happened uh, in the last week on uh, uh, low float stocks like ABEO, uh, APTO, uh, OBSV, TCCO, still in play today, and uh, TGTX. Just this morning, we were trading uh, CEI, and we traded a couple of positions short from uh, the tops, and Bookmap was very useful. So with what I'm going to show you now, you'll basically understand uh, the reason uh, why I enter short and where enter short and the reason why you have to look for certain patterns to get long um, let's start right away so everything will be clear over here you have this is first of all uh, how I use book mapping the room so I have as you can see Netflix Tesla uh, PTI TCCO and CI all right so this morning we had CC, uh, CEI and how Bookmap works. So this is the software. Uh, it can be very confusional if you look at it right away, like this at the first glance, but trust me, it will be such a useful tool uh, when you day trade. Um, it's divided in many comp by many components. So the first one, and I would say the most important, are these levels over here. This uh, orange level, yellow level, uh, let's say these light blue levels are called heat map. Basically, they are the support and resistance in your chart. The darker they are, all right, the more volume they have. 
So for example, let's scroll a little bit down over here. We see this uh, red heat map, all right, at this level, 250, and you can see the level over here on the right. You see that this level has 76,000 shares on the bid. So it's logical to think that when we will have a pullback from this high, right, to this support, when 250 also half dollar number plus a huge amount of bids like this, they will probably make the price bounce and the stocks bounce from 250 up to 265 over here. Once this has a secondary bounce, it pushes over here 260. So you can see that this level of bounce over here is not anymore as big as this first one, all right? which it went to 265, 270. We have the breakdown of 250, and then we confirm the, uh, let's say, the, the wash, the small downtrend over here. Another thing that you have to learn and right away understand in Bookmap is uh, that is a rep representation of the tape, so of your norm normal level two, into a uh, chart visualization. For example, let's look right now, all right? We have price, this is live, CAI, we have price at 235, 237. The first bid is 1,000 shares. The first ask is 1,000 shares. What I also do is to look for an imbalance. Let's say that for the same amount, let's say 240 till $2, so 40 cents, and 240 till 280 are the 40 cents. Over here, we have an imbalance, not really, because we have a cumulative over here on the right volume of 200,000 um, short sellers or um, uh, longs already placed over here to sell their position, 200,000 uh, shares. And over here on the bid, on the support, you have 160,000. So it's almost like one to one. So uh, 160,000 one to buy, 200,000 want to sell for the same amount of frames. It will happen other times that you will have maybe four times the average, uh, let's say four to one, five to one, right? Uh, for short, for who wants to dump its shares. So in that case, you will look for a short position. This is how you calculate the imbalance. So now we can start looking at some examples uh, of the past week. So this is ABEO. Uh, this is a gap. You can see that we had momentum. We had right away over here an extension in uh, pre-market from uh, $3 to 380. I like to play gaps, both long and both short. So right at the open, we had a wash, uh, basically to the high of the previous day. We held this dip over here and we started like pushing up with a high of 340. What happened next? So if you look over here on book map, you can see that we have basically this 325 level. So exactly over here, when the price from the VWAP, which is this um, dotted uh, red level, uh, washes, has a small pullback to this support, we have an algo. So this is, or an algo, or a big hand trader, which can be an institutional trader, can be somebody that is willing to play games with such a low flow. And what happens, two things. First of all, in this area over here, below VWAP, we will have a lot of short sellers jumping in, we will have also long players stopping out. And this is what basically the big hands want. So they want like to scare you. So they will dump the price just below the VWAP over here. And then they will put again this algo and they will push it up again. So in this case, you basically uh, gave away your uh, short sellers um, shares, right? you are short, you're giving them away. And then you start fueling that long 
more longs are getting in again and that big hand is trying to push and then this is what they do they they have a move of here of 20 uh 15 20 cents that's all they want so this book map over here in this case with the red heat map 41,000 right away it tells you that one algo is not giving the possibility to go lower but will basically hold uh create like a wall of buyers uh longs will jump in again short sellers over here they will stop above vwap and they will fuel this push so is it clear that bruce I think is uh pretty understandable right yeah very nice example uh right there and uh, uh yeah exactly uh right up into you know areas uh and they're even pulling up at that 338 area there uh so uh let's see if uh, we can get more buyers to to push it higher up into you know maybe 343 exactly exactly so often we can use that level we can use these levels as uh, bounce so I will put like my long for example 328 like two three cents away from my stop which is that 325 or vice versa if I'm playing short I will wait for this breakdown maybe a retest in short risking just that 328 325 level all right traders let's look APTO so this was one of the the main plays this week I basically just uh, if if you don't mind uh, J Trader I'll interrupt you here for just a moment um just to, sure. to reiterate with uh, uh, some of the traders in here um, how he managed that where he placed his stop and why uh, because uh, it's down there below or at the area of very high liquidity okay because uh, uh, you know he's looking for this move to go forward uh, and uh, uh, you know to to uh, uh, go with the the probabilities there and go with the uh, who's dominating the order book uh, and who's dominating the uh, the price movement exactly uh, always look to trade in the direction of the main players there's always somebody that is playing the big game somebody is called like the big hand trader so you have to trade in that direction for example you have a stock that is gapping up 200 percent what happens normally uh, all the retail traders they will like to short because it's up 200 percent but if the big end player or the institutional uh, doesn't want to sell for example till we get the 400 percent extension you can show all the spikes you want all the tops you want all the pops you want and you will always be losing these trades so over here we have an example on AB, uh, APTO uh, it's based on three examples so let's put APTO also this is an example of um, uh, let's say over here all right this is of the 9th of uh, December so this is a first day mover you can see over here we have a gap and right away in the morning you get your scanner up you see that we have from 250 to 290 so like 15 20 percent gap goes to 330 and then right at open what happens we start holding this dip all right holding this dip we start like having a curl over here and the stock starts trending right over here we have a clear cup pattern this is a pretty nice breakout over here the lows to buy 310 315 risking the slow and we start up trending where book map uh, becomes very useful over here uh, exactly in this moment we have a breakout over here 340 of the pre-market high and over here we have 350 remember these 350 four dollars 450 half dollar numbers or whole dollar numbers are the most important level when you're trading so look the price action we have a breakout right away sorry we have a push right away of 350 to 350 washes then we have another push to 350 washes in that moment at 1536 so exactly over here that we wash we started seeing that a huge heat map a huge algo all right that 
is looking to push the price up, why is putting himself over here? Because he wants that the price will go higher. So they manipulate the tape. And what you can do, you can buy just above this dip, you long 350, 352, this area, and you're risking that low over there, which is exactly, I will show it, 340. Because more than 30,000 uh, share, shares, he wants to buy more than 30,000 shares over here, 340. So it's like a support that you cannot see on a normal uh, chart, but they can only see in the volume and in the tape. So the price over here starts going up and we have an extension to $4. Again, we started coming down from this $4 and look what happens again. Another heat map comes in over here exactly at this price. So first you have this wash, 350. And then right away at 360, we have 47,000, all right? Exactly over here, this level that tells you, okay, somebody is looking to push the price higher. What do you do? You long 63, 64, this area, risking four cents. And you get that move enough to make three, three or four R return. So you risk like three or four cents and you get like 12, 16 cents of move. I'm gonna show over here. So, it, it, uh, Jay Trader, if you, if you don't mind, uh, I just wanted to um, point out a couple of things that are really, really nice uh, in these examples. Um, uh, just like you are saying, this, this imbalance in the order book, mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. and you see the larger traders coming in like this, uh, and uh, you already have your higher time frame. Uh, you know, looking at that, uh, and uh, you know, like you said, the, these these larger players coming in and they're dominating the not only the book but the aggressive uh, moves as well. Exactly, exactly, Bruce. And uh, yeah, very. I mean, this is the context uh, that uh, you, you know that the insight of uh, the order book, the price structure. And uh, the uh, the volume within that price structure uh, that that is 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 telling you something here. And that, yeah, that's the the majority of the traders, like I'm a technical trader, uh, I know how to read a balance sheet. Um, I know how to read filings, see if a stock has dilution. This is something I teach. But when you get to a chart, then you need always the price action and how you know where the stock will go. You need price action, so you need to know the tape, the volume, and the more uh, imbalance we have between supply and demand, the better move we will have. For example, if we look traders, this move over here, when we start getting this 360, all right? And I will put this full screen, this 360. And you can see over here that 360, 340, we have 120,000 that they want to buy. And 360 till 380, we have 7,000, 8,000. So you have like a huge imbalance to go long on this move over here. And this is what you have to take advance. So you see this, you get long. And how the trade evolved? Look over here. This is the last screenshot of APTO. So once we have, let me move this over here. All right, so once we have this push to 380, we start falling over here, and you see this orange that comes over here and right away red. So that means that, wait, now something is changing. We have another big algo over here putting a top. So if before they wanted to push it up, now they're topping it out over here. This is exactly the level that the algo comes, and it tell, is it telling you, look, 368, 365 is a low risk short. Risk this 370, 375. So you risk like five cents and you get all the swash till the V web down here. And you can see how this move goes all the way down 340 and then will wash eventually down till the V web at 320. So this is how they top. This is how they move their uh, the stock uh, the way they want. I think we can go to 
another example, OBSV. So this was an all day fader, one of the best patterns I trade gap and crap. So OBSV, you can see that we have an open, a push, a stuff right away at open, and we start like dumping, dumping very fast. In this moment over here, from 10 o'clock, 10 a.m. East, we start having exactly at 440, this big heat map, sorry, 436. You can see that this is formed by a big algo, 100,000 shares, is basically putting a wall of selling over here. So whoever wants to push this and trying to break this 436 will be like uh, stopped and rejected from this huge algo at 436. And eventually we'll dump more because we can see that from this 436, so exactly this level I'm doing and tracing over here, went down below $4, 380, 370 and so on. So this is how they tell you, right? If you're able to learn the stuff, to see the pattern, you can definitely have an edge and know that the trade will go all the way down. If we have a reversal, you're not carrying too much of a stop loss because it's like four, five, six cents, and you're not going to lose something like that would put you like in a difficult situation, but only a small stop. Over here, we have another type of setup, and I wanted to show you this. So I've been playing yesterday TCCO, alerted to play only dip longs, microflow stock, up on catalyst, uh, flow rotation, short trap over here. So these were all the setups that we had, long over here, short over here, short over here. How Bookmap helped me in this yesterday. So I'm gonna show first this example over here. All right. Write it open. We open over here, 675, pre-market resistance 750. This is not, um, a trade that is for beginner traders, because as beginner traders, as for beginner traders, I will never suggest you to short something that is a micro float, so something below uh, three, four million stock, uh, four million uh, float, and only to trade dip longs. So where are the dip longs? When you have like these traps below VWAP, starting to hold a whole uh, round dollar number or hold on number like this five over here. Um, once we have, once we had this 720 top, you can see this big spike right away stuff over here, big spike right away stuff. You start seeing over here in the seven, look on my left, you start seeing this uh, first small heat map. So uh, over here, exactly this bar over here, you start seeing like some formation of uh, resistance. And you can see the time, you know, we're talking about seconds. Um, this is 9.44, 15 seconds, 9.44 and 30 seconds, 9.44 and 45 seconds. So exactly on this bar over here. And at a certain point after 30 seconds, we started seeing this volume increasing over here on the resistance level. And you can see right now that we started having a huge imbalance because we have 30,000 that want to dump over here. And basically we had nobody on the support. What happens over here? Dumped all the way down to six. And if we look the second chart of TCCO, you can see how it evolves. Goes all the way down till this 580. And 580 is this dip over here, previous support. Then we have a small bounce, why? 
because basically we have another heat map over here that gives us this bounce over here to VWAP, this white line, rejection, and all the way down. So you can see that book map gave you the timing. Surely you need to know what you're doing. You need to know that uh, something like this, you'll be uh, shorting spikes and covering dips, buying dips and selling spikes. Is it clear, Bruce? Yeah, uh, J -Tra Trader or Joseph, I mean, th these are excellent examples. Um, uh, really, really uh, good examples, I think. Um, and I like very much how very much how you're showing your trading strategy, and then you're you're looking at higher time frame stuff, uh, but then you're really getting into where where are they in the order book? Uh, you know, what's the context? Where how are the aggressors uh, controlling this, uh, and where are they headed? Um, and uh, and looking for um, you know a lot of, a lot of traders look at their their higher time frame candlestick charts and and areas where it might go to. Uh, in terms of, um, uh, you know, an indicator or something, uh, whereas here you, you're, ident you're identifying it as its liquidity. Uh, that's where this is going to. Exactly, exactly. I uh, have always an uh, hourly chart or daily chart in order to see the big resistance and support, but if then we don't uh, um, keep an eye and analyze the volume, so the order flow, where this is moving, where we have the majority of volume pushing, if long or short, then it's useless. I don't need to know that, you know, it's so simple to see, for example, TCCO had the resistance at $9, all right? And you basically don't know if we will have that volume to reach that level over there. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, you're looking at the context again. Is there enough volume to reach those levels? Uh, exactly. And, uh, and yesterday I could tell you that uh, both over here into the $5 area and uh, $9 area, book map and the price action gave us two beautiful setup over here for long and over here for short. So if you're able to spot these levels also using book map, you will have like a terrific day and very low risk uh, trades because like shorting something as over here TCCO, for example, at uh, 680, 670, risking $7, you're risking basically what, 30 cents for a return on this wash of $1 and a half. So you're having like five hour return on this trade. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you're, now you're taking this is this is exactly why we have these pro trader webinars you are integrating now the the order flow uh and your strategy and methods of trading with risk management like what exactly are, how are you going to manage this trade what are you looking for uh where are you um uh, uh happy to take a stop uh and uh and happy to let this run uh for uh for your risk rewards Whenever I'm trading, I'm looking at least to uh, with a trade to cover my uh, borrows because this is a short uh, restricted uh, stock, so hard to borrow stock. I'm going. I need to cover my commission cost. I need to make my money. So at least, at least my average in a trade will be two R return. And over here, for example, if we take this trade into the 670. We had a call yesterday, 6 9 in this trade, and this was live. Um, all the members can see my screens and listen to my uh, voice commentary and see what I'm doing. So, in this case, the short is 670, and the risk is this 710, 705 area. So, uh, if you're not like fast as some of the traders, 690, when you will have 20 cents stop. You can have a 40 cent stop and then your first target will be this low so you're going to have a 3r return and then look for more downside and this is uh how we do how we use risk management whenever we have like a dump like this 
then we start moving our trailing lower, lower and lower. For example, in this uh, dip down here, we'll move the trail risk management at the previous relative low. So you always lock in more profits. Yeah, exactly. So another thing, I mean, like, uh, you know, letting it, letting this run, uh, uh, risk, the risk management on the, uh, you know, on the, on the take profit, uh, and, uh, and, and looking for something very, very specific, uh, in the order flow here. Um, these are really, really nice examples, uh, Joseph. Thank you. Thank you, Bruce. I want to show a last thing for who is a short seller. This is TGTX. So everybody knows the stock in play these days. This is simply one of those stocks that if you don't trade it like um, using a good risk management can uh, make you go in bankruptcy. Basically, if you don't short it the right time, you will get all this front side against you. So always wait for lower high formations and always look to have more than one confirmation if you want to short it. So this time over here, 11.35, we can see three things. If you want to analyze right away price action and chart patterns, this is a descending triangle. So everybody knows that if this breaks to the downside, will be a long, will be a short, sorry. Looking at book map over here, you start seeing right away at 936, 934, 935. So this level over here that I mark with this arrow, you can start seeing the formation of a resistance of a heat map. Then when we have these last two spikes, you start seeing over here another small formation of resistance, 930. So what Book Mattel is telling you, we are having resistance, resistance. And we don't have that much support over here. This red line that you see is not a heat map. It's just like my, uh, I, I plot the line over here. And you can see that we have also a volume imbalance because we, we had at moment uh, a huge amount of sellers compared comparing to buyers. So what happens? You can short easily into this area or in the breakdown, let's say 918 to 920, 22, this area over here risking this high 934 and then you get all this huge wash at least your target is this previous relative low and this is what you have to do in day trading you have to calculate where's your possible target know how much you're going to risk because you can never trade something one to one you're risking 20 cents to make 20 cents when you will have a system for example even 60 percent 70% of win rate, but you will have one-on-one, -on -one. trust me, you'll be break-even or a loser. Loser because you have fees, you have expenses, you have uh, to support yourself, and you need at least something that will bring you two-hour return, if not three-hour return. Yeah, fantastic. I mean, uh, exactly. So if you do not see that, then you do not take the trade. Exactly, exactly. Always calculate your risk and have your dollar risk when you trade. Yeah, and, uh, you know, just to, to mention uh, a little bit of trader psychology, and I'm just kind of curious, um, Joseph, over time, how did you, because it's alluring to, well, I can get a one-to-one -one trade here. I have a high probability trade. I, I know it. I, I see it. Uh, I know it can be one-to-one. -one. It might even be less than one-to-one. -one. Uh, but uh, you you have the discipline, or how did you overcome the discipline, or get the discipline to overcome that uh, uh, fear of missing out uh, on some of those um, smaller opportunities? Uh, the answer is very um, is very simple, with errors and by losing money. <laughs> so when you're tired to lose money, and even if you are like one of those analytical traders like me that is based everything bases everything on statistics um, and tracks everything so that's why it's very important to journal your trades your setups and when you know that 
every time you trade that pattern, you will have 40% win rate or the other pattern, you will have 60% win rate. Then you have to calculate the um, risk reward if you're going for one to one, one to two, one to three. And then at the end, you have like to filter. So what's like bringing the money at the end of the week? Or if you're like a swing trader at the end of the month, right? Because bookmap as well can be used for daily charts or for monthly charts, all right? And uh, you always take your position based on uh, intraday trade. So when you know this, then you start like, okay, this is a setup that I know pays 30% of the time. Let's not take it. And you stick only to what gives you and makes you uh, profitable. So nice over here traders to see, this is CI, to see the support that I had over here, uh, breakdown. And then we see over here resistance, breakdown. So how heat map works, all right, live. So for example, let's say that you're trading over here in your house, in your office, wherever you want. And you start seeing this formation. So this is an easy trade over here, short in 252, 251, you have like basically five minutes to short until you have this resistance. You short over here, you take this wash to the superior support, you lock in, uh, let's say 10 cents over here move, 15 cents move, risking four cents. This is already a three R, four R return trade. That's all you need to make money. Uh, put 3K shares and you get your paycheck. Yeah, um, I'm wondering um, a little bit on uh, some of the, uh, like in this example here, are, do you front run uh, some of that high liquidity there uh, on your on your target? In which target, uh, what target are you well, if, over if, here? Um, y yeah, I mean, like if you're, if you're looking, yeah, exactly. Uh, so, you know, or, do you, or do, you, do you move your stop down or are you just, uh, um, how, how, how would you manage uh, something like that? Okay, so whenever you intraday trade, and it's what I, I do every day in the room, so it's not that I call a trade, over here short when the price is already down here. I call a trade here and I explain my plan because otherwise everybody is good like to analyze the market once a year. The first thing that I put uh, the traders in front is how much you're going to risk for how much profit. You see this support over here, one, two, three, four times held at 230, 232. So I know that if the price goes down over here, if we have this breakdown, that will be my first target. And if I short, let's say 1,000 shares, all right? I risk this 255, 256. Let's say I short at 252, not the best price. Four cents risk. I'm looking for this 235, 233. So I will put already over here, half of my shares to cover. Short 252, risking 256, 233, 34, 35, this area. Generally, I don't put my level of cover right away the support why because you will see buyers into that area so maybe i just like will slip is two three four cents away already half of my covers down here and then with the other half if we have this move i will move my stop to this previous support you see over here traders 248 so if the trade turns at 248 i'm out the rest so break even break even plus in the money and if this continues to, to go down I will lower always my trail, always more down and down and down to lock in more profits. Okay, excellent. Um, some comments in, in coming through here. Just uh, really appreciate your, your honesty here uh, and uh, the way that you're viewing this uh, now in terms of not only setups, but in terms of business and uh, risk reward and management. Thank you. Uh, let's see here. Um, Jerry is asking about um, risking four cents. Um, uh, Jerry, are you talking about is this is these are all stocks? Uh, he's, there's no option uh, trades here uh, that he's going through. But if you're trading, I trade 
uh, options every day in the room. And uh, when I trade option, basically the main chart is always the underlying stock. So uh, let's say this morning we were looking at Netflix, all right? Tesla had a good push. We were looking at Netflix. We were looking to buy Netflix, uh, looking for those uh, 300 calls. And Tesla, we were looking 355 and 360 out of the money, uh, monthly and weekly calls, all right? So what I do, I basically stop out, for example, uh, an option when I have the breakout of that resistance that I'm looking on the line stock. So it's not, a ma it's not that I don't consider the option chart, is that my option exit or entry is based on the formation, pattern formation that I have on the, on, on the line stock. If this is, uh, if I answer what, what you mean. Yeah, I, I think, um, yeah, exactly. Um, uh, uh, so I think, yeah, yeah, Jerry, Jerry understands your point. Um, I do have actually a question on uh, options and the way you're trading options uh, due to the, uh, uh, you know, the, the different, because this is a derivative uh, and, the, and the Greeks involved, um, yeah. you know, are you, um, uh, I mean, I, I haven't traded options with bookmap, so I, I, I'm always curious. It, it to me, it always looks so good uh, because when you see price move and move uh, harshly, like a big move into areas of high liquidity, and it looks like uh, uh, you know it, it's going to reverse, um, you know, pretty easily. Uh, you know, you're looking at the 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 Vega of that of the option is just going to be you know uh, moving dramatically, and yet you're going to be getting in at such a good price. Um, I, what, what are, what is like a typical, I guess what I'm asking, what is a typical uh, option play that you might do, uh, using, okay. using book map and order flow? Okay. For example, I like to trade in a trending stock like Tesla and we were trading Tesla this morning. You see over here that we have a morning wash. So price opens right away. We have wash and what do we have over here? Bruce, big heat mat support, 351. And this, I, I'm just going to show you this over here. This is the watch list trader this morning. If I can show two seconds, uh, traders over here. Tesla, gap up, pre-market support, 350, 351. Of old of support, I'm looking to buy 355 calls, week in 360. And the key area was this 348, 350. So if we have that hold and uh, wash dip by, that's for me along on a trending strategy because it's like a couple of days already we're up trending in the short term. So this heat map over here gives me confirmation to get in 351 and 50, 352, at the same time to buy 355 weekly calls, OTM, so out of the money, and 360 monthly because I'm looking for that 360 swing. This I wrote traders at exactly 8 uh, a.m. I said, if we have a bounce today, we go 360. And you can see over here, today we had not 360, but we had 355 and 80. So if we consolidate today that 355 and 80, we can have that 360. Actually, we went 357 and 10. Okay, excellent. Wow, uh, beautiful chart there. Nice, these toppings over here, like this rejection of heat map. You can see that once we fail, started to reject over here, target previous support, and then break down over here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, be beautiful chart there. Um, uh, just a uh, uh, as well, just looking at that, that, that these ideas and concepts of where, you know, resistance turns into support um, is really nicely visualized um, uh, on the way up and uh, how they flip from uh, offer to bid. Absolutely. Absolutely. When we have something that will simply reject, it will reject right away. So we'll push into this resistance and then wash. If we start seeing like a small rejection, 
And then we start seeing the price holding forming this micro uh, heat map often will be a curl and push. Same over here, uh, Bruce, because we have a first soak start to reject. So yes, you can enter short over here, but the plan today was to go long. But let's say you're a short seller. You short everything in this world. You short over here, but then when we have this curl right over here, 356, you have to get out because that will fuel another move. Right. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it, 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 it traded into that, uh, very high liquidity there, uh, and it stopped it for a bit. Uh, but mm -hmm. this, this is, this is actually, um, um, it, you know, something kind of key, uh, that a lot of traders always ask about book map is, uh, you know, shouldn't it bounce? Shouldn't it reverse at that area? And th this is where, the answer is, well, it depends. What is the context here? Okay. Uh, and uh, it's exactly what you are mentioning. Yes, it stopped. There is absorption there, a lot of absorption, not complete absorption. Price did go down, but look where they're supporting it in the book on the bid. Uh, and then we don't find a whole lot of sellers. You know, look at exactly. the and look at the context of buyers and sellers there. So uh, more buyers come back in. Uh, so there's there's the context of of of, uh, of putting some of these pieces together, or like the way that you're reading this uh, and putting these pieces together. Uh, of you know, if there's not a whole, you could you could you could sell it and you could look for it to move, uh, but uh, you know, aggressively manage that or uh, look at the um, uh, the amount of if there's a lot of sellers that do come in, yeah, you you've got a case now. Uh, else, exactly. else buyers might come right back in and, and move that higher. Um, yeah. So, uh, in, in that instance, I'm, I'm just kind of curious how may you have, uh, managed, uh, that, uh, up, up in those areas. So when we are looking at this, um, level over here, yeah, let's say you're looking uh, you, we are long, we are long from 351, 352 area. Then our first target is this 355. The reason that we have a big heat map over here at 355 is not that, okay, we have a heat map. No, this is an important level. It's not because it's also a previous daily resistance, but this 355, whenever you will have a big whole round dollar number, 350, 355, 360, you will often spot this big heat map over here. So this big level of resistance. So if you're long, this is a very good level where to take partial of your profit. And once we have this um, weakness over here, this first rejection, look what happens. It's holding this previous resistance, right? This previous high at 354 and 50 consolidates on this support so you can see this curl and this is is a possible another re-entry for what you sold over here you see this curl you basically can long over here at 355 risking 354 and 50 so 50 cents and then you have another move to the upside and what you will look for another big level of resistance like this where you will take another partial profit and again, you have a weakness where on this support, previous high, relative high, starts curling again, and then another breakup to the upside. Uh, this is this is excellent, uh, Joseph. Uh, so you know now you now you're starting to uh, uh, bring in um, much more um, kind of advanced uh, uh, trade management uh, in such a very simple way. Uh, of scaling in and scaling out and how you're managing your risk along the way. So uh, really, exactly. really, really good examples uh, here. Uh, very, very clear, I think. Um, and uh, that is Thank not, you, that is just not easy to do uh, because uh, the emotions are, uh, get pretty wild uh, up in some of those areas uh, as you take off some risk and then add more back on. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so uh, yeah, traders uh, just uh, uh, 
we had <laughs> really really nice examples here of showing that um, uh, you know these are more much more advanced and it, although it, it's coming across so simply here uh, when you're in the trade it's a very different thing uh, and uh, he he's sticking to his plan uh, and uh, uh, waiting for uh, and looking uh, for these things to unfold uh, and then going with that. Uh, and but he's managing it all the way through. So there's uh, the stop that the tra has been trailed up, uh, and uh, uh, he's giving it a shot to go further. Uh, so um, uh, anyway, I've said it two or three or four times now. These are really nice examples. Thank you. Thank you, Bruce. If anybody else has another questions or uh, anything, just feel. Free to yeah some some questions a lot of questions that have coming in and I've been and answering them or um, showing them uh, along the way here uh, for you guys uh, the um, there's uh, looking at maybe some of the spoofing uh, that uh, you might be uh, or you know the algorithmic activity um, very very um, short-term algorithmic activity uh, that you might be looking at that helps uh, you know your your insights on on your trading yeah well spoofing this morning generally i looked that on um, um, small caps and this morning um, none that i remember i saw spoofing over here um and then from um, honestly 10 o'clock i couldn't follow anymore because i was preparing for <laughs> the webinar but um <laughs> Yes, yeah, something generally I look, for example, for example, uh, we start seeing, uh, let me see if I can put uh, this one over here. I just want to show something for who's asking me about spoofing. All right, let's say that over here we have our uh, candles, all right? So what they will do, they will like, put some bit over here, maybe like to think that we can go long. Instead, they will take it out, this bit, and make it wash, or vice versa, vice versa. They will like um, fake you out, let's say it's washing. They will put big support, so that's poofing because you will cover, buyers will come, and right away when this is bouncing, they take it off, and then they continue to go down. So spoofing is just a way to trap you, all right? And you will see so many times that you will see fake orders, all right? Just like printing there, one, two seconds, scare everybody, okay, it's gonna go up, everybody's got coming to buy, and then this goes away and they can dump more. So they do this, for example, in a downtrend to hold the price up and they can have like better levels to sell on your face. This is how they spoof on you. Clear? Yeah, yeah, yeah. excellent, excellent. Um, I know exactly what you mean there. Um, and, uh, it, you know, get everyone trapped on one side, pull the liquidity uh, and, uh, and and let uh, let it drop there. Exactly over here. Well, this is not really a spoofing because it lasts like seven, eight minutes. But let's say you see this red heat map, all right? Uh, and you will see like printing one second, two seconds going away, printing one, two seconds going away, printing one, two seconds going away, and then they drop. So that's a clear way how they will spoof. Okay. Um, let's see a question here about uh, your filtering uh, of stocks uh, in the morning, or how you kind of set up your 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 trading activity uh, in in the morning. I basically from six o'clock. I'm already in the room. Uh, room is not something crowded where you have like tons of people calling trades. No, uh, real traders. I'm happy to say, and whenever you get in the room, uh, you know this. You right away feel the atmosphere uh five four of our traders who are with us for a long time now they uh went to work for prop firms three of them went to work for 
Like I don't, I don't know. I don't want to make publicity about it for Seven Point Capital, and uh, we are basically uh, there from six o'clock. Right away, you, I put scans, big caps, uh, largest volume players, breakouts, breakdown, gap up, gap down. Same for the small caps, and. Uh, from 6.30, 7 o'clock, we started having the first pre-market plan. And at 7 o'clock, we start trading pre-market. If we have like some runner like TCCO yesterday, we traded long from pre-market. And uh, how do I scan? Basically, I look for uh, biggest gap of the day, get pop back, uh, gap down. And I'm looking only the stock that fit my strategy. So when you get in the room, you learn the strategies. And during the day, I screen share what I'm doing so every trader can see my entries, exits, my charts, book map, because I screen share one or two chart book map daily, right? So um, I think Bruce will be happy about that. <laughs> 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 but basically, I, uh, it's useful. And I see traders learning, but I always say traders, it's not that in one day you will become millionaire, it takes a long, long time. It's 20 years I'm doing this job. Always you have to revisit yourself, improve yourself. If you're out there that you just like tell people you will get into my room and you will become millionaire, okay, better you go play the roulette because it's not like that. It's a lot of work, a lot of work. Can tell some traders inside the room in three, four months, broker statements pass from 3K to 15, 20K. That's possible. But if I tell you 3K pass to 100K in four months, well, Take it another time. Okay, excellent. Um, let's see. Uh, boy, I get get your questions in, guys. Like uh, I've been answering them kind of along the way here, uh, and he's been explaining uh, and, and uh, going through the answers uh, in, in real time here or during his presentation. Uh, so uh, uh, yeah, give a, another minute or two here. Uh, and guys, I put in the uh, chat. Um, again, uh, uh, J Traders uh, contact information. So you have all of that there if you're interested in reaching out to him. Uh, and then there's a uh, you know his website uh, in a special offer for Bookmap as well. That's through J Trader. So you know through through him uh, there are special offers for Bookmap that are not on the Bookmap website. Uh, just uh, want to let you know that. Uh, and um, let's see here. Any last minute questions? Um, Let's see, do you trade futures in the room as well? Uh, David is asking. Uh, yes, I started um, with covert warrants in my life and uh, European stocks. And in 2004, 2005, I moved to FTSE, DAX, and ES. Um, for Europeans, you know, starting like trading DAX right in the morning. Uh, so that's like probably your 3 a.m. Um, and why time and then working till like late day uh, on ES it's a long day yeah so right now I'm trading futures in the room only ES and uh, have a pretty big win rate on that so I screen share every day uh, ES trades um, and uh, one to uh, two uh, setups a day oh, okay okay uh, excellent um... So uh, uh, Daniel is asking if you do you have any examples of uh, ES trade? Uh, right here, no. Uh, I trade more than one, uh, one computer, so I keep this only for stocks. Next to me, Mama Bear, uh, futures trader, so she mainly trades with that. Ah, uh, okay, excellent. Um, let's see. Uh, any more questions in here? Um, yeah. In you, uh, you had uh, several questions. Um, I, I think, you know, th these are very specific questions. It might be better to e either reach out to JTrader, um, you know, uh, uh, and contact him directly, or, you know, uh, uh, maybe attend some of the uh, bookmap uh, webinars where I can answer your questions. All right. Uh, Jonathan, sure. these are all recorded uh, and they'll be up on YouTube. So, um, that that uh, here I, I put the link into the chat there uh, as well, and let me I'll put it in here once again. Uh, it'll be within this playlist here on our uh, uh, on the channel. Okay, so look for it and give it give me about three hours or so, 
uh, it's, it's taken a while for these to actually um, uh, parse, but uh, yeah, they will be up there, okay? Oh, you guys are welcome for having the recordings very quickly, no, no problem. Um, and um, uh, yeah, I, I don't know, any, anything else uh, that, that you want to go over, Joseph, or, uh, uh, you know? I think you covered everything, Bruce. Uh, was a good uh, webinar. Uh, thanks for having me. Uh, also, thanks to everybody uh, for having joined. And uh, whatever we can do to help you, just reach out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you uh, very much, Joseph. I mean, really, I have to reiterate this. I mean, these are just really very crystal clear examples with really clean trading logic. Uh, a lot can be learned uh, from this. So, um, thank you very much for a, a very, very good presentation here. Thank you very much. Guys, uh, hope to see you in the room. And thank you, Bruce, for everything. Have a good day. Okay. All right. Bye.